Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia and today I'm super excited because I am starting this new video to a new series. Haven't really thought of the name for the series but I'm gonna name it productive vlog series for now and then if something comes to mind or if y'all have any creative ideas please let me know down below in the description box but Today is a very exciting day, very exciting video. I know that the title of the series is quite intuitive and telling and it might not prompt further explanation, but I actually did think through this series quite a lot. There is a lot of back story and, and thinking around why I wanna start this. So since it is the first episode, I do wanna take some time to do a little intro and share my thought process with y'all. On this channel, I really want to start glamorizing the concept of work-life balance. I feel like everyone glamorizes hustle culture and in a way I do like feed into the concept of hustle culture, but at the same time, I really value my life and I work to live, I don't live to work. Um, so I really want to emphasize like really fun things that you can do in your life while working really hard as well. So for this productive series, I will definitely be grinding it out here. I'll probably keep it pretty fast paced. I'll focus a little bit more on work, um, side hustles, and maybe just like everyday tasks and stuff like that. And then on my other series, which is my 20 something diary series, those are just everyday vlogs. I want to show y'all the fun side of my life, me going out, me doing things, traveling, hanging out with friends, having downtime, relaxing, because I definitely do try to balance both of these things. So today would be a productive day if I, for work, launched my A-B test, gave a good presentation at All Hands, and then for the nonprofit, I need to finalize the Lunar New Year event for next week, and then also set up the agenda for tomorrow's leads meeting. For YouTube, I need to start the skeleton of this video, so start editing tonight. And then miscellaneous stuff, I need to work out for 30 minutes. I actually did not go on my run this morning. Call my dad because I need to ask him for the grocery list. I'm going back home for Lunar New Year next week. And then also call my grandma if I have time tonight. If not tonight, then tomorrow. Because I haven't FaceTime called her for like a week and a half. And sometimes she just thinks that I don't care about her anymore. So yeah, those are all the things that I want to get done today. And... That would be a productive day for me. I know that I talk so much and I know y'all just wanna watch the video. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna start off the day with a quick workout. Today, it was so cold in New York. It was literally like 15 degrees outside and it snowed last night, so I was not about to risk my life on these slippery streets. So I just decided to do a quick Chloe Ting workout. I really like Chloe Ting. I've been doing her workouts on and off throughout the pandemic. I stopped doing them when the gyms opened back up, but since the COVID landscape is still kind of weird here in New York City, I'm not fully comfortable going back into workout classes yet so I've been doing a lot of her workouts more these days after the workout I just quickly check my mails check my slack and then I hop on to my morning calls here I have a sprint planning call with my product team and then I'm just doing some work before lunch the mornings usually fly by so fast because I feel like I'm doing so many things, but now it is finally lunchtime. Hey, mm. Hello, Mama. When I cook my lunch, I usually like to give my dad a call and bother him and talk to him for 10 to 15 minutes. And today I wanted to ask him what I should be bringing up for Lunar New Year next week.
Recently, I've been obsessed with making peanut noodles for lunch. I know it's not the healthiest option, but it is pretty quick, simple, and super delicious. I've been watching Our Beloved Summer and I'm slowly catching up. It takes me actually quite a long time to finish an episode because I really only watch dramas or watch shows when I'm eating. So I typically watch maybe like half an episode, almost like a full episode every day throughout my meals. Lunchtime is over and I'm back to work. I have a meeting in all hands right now where we're going through our 2022 strategy for the org and I have a small piece in this presentation where I'm going to be talking about a new feature that our team launched and some of the results from our test last quarter. My portion of the presentation wasn't until near the end, so I actually had quite a hard time concentrating around the 30 minute mark because I just got so sleepy and I was just recovering from my food coma. And Julia's gonna talk about our test that we run and how this data will influence our roadmap. So I'll pass it over to Julia. Hey everyone, my name's Julia. I'm the data scientist on the team. So I'd like to quickly showcase what our feature currently looks like. So previously As a reward for a successful presentation, I make myself my second cup of coffee of the day and also defrosted some blueberry muffins that I made last week. Now for the next three hours, I'm just concentrating on tying up some loose ends that I need to be able to launch my test. A lot of people don't know, but there are lots of working parts to launching an A-B test. First and foremost, making sure that the feature is built, that it's tested, working with your engineers to build the pipelines to make sure all the data is logged. And then right before launch, there's just a lot of nitty gritty things that need to be in place, especially if you're using internal company tools. Sometimes there are restrictions to when you can test, um, coordinating with other tests that are currently happening. I found out that we were missing a couple of pieces, so we actually did not end up launching the test today, uh, which is a shame, but delays do happen, and that is embedded in my projected timeline for this test, so it is okay. At this point, I've been in my apartment the entire day. I have not left. And on top of that, I've been sitting at my desk for hours now. So sometimes when I feel really stuffy in my apartment, I'd actually just go up to the roof, take 15 minutes to breathe some fresh air, take in the views, and just relax. It was so cold outside, but I committed to coming up here, and plus, the roof is an amenity that I pay for, so I try to come here as often as I can. Whenever I have friends over, I'm always like, let's go to the roof, even though it's like 30 degrees and we're gonna freeze to death, but it has beautiful views that obviously I cannot see from my apartment, so while I'm living here, I'm going to make the best out of it. When 
I get back down to my apartment, it's time to make some dinner. So today I am going to be making some rice and I marinated some miso salmon, so I'm going to be making that as well. As I wait for my rice to cook, I start to transition over to some nonprofit work. The nonprofit uses Discord while work uses Slack, but I can't have both of them open at the same time because the messages get too distracting. I take some time to catch up on messages, read through channels and docs to make sure I'm up to date, and start to plan the agenda for my meetings this week. I've been cooking so much more lately because I finally have my own kitchen, which is so nice. That day I had the biggest boiled egg craving, so I made myself a boiled egg, sat down, watched my K-drama, and just had a nice simple dinner. lowest lifting that we can do. The weekend that we're aiming to do this is um, February 4th to February 6th and I just told her we're interested in a one weekend kind of event. Can you recap what SCL needs to do? After dinner, I kick off the night meetings with a strategy sync where we discussed and aligned on our upcoming Lunar New Year event purposes for what's going on with GAM and what's going on with this is I think this one is more community engagement and the other one is more of like merchant fundraising. I saw on TikTok that if you go to someone's place and they have a two-in-one they're not a real adult so sorry. <laughs> cool so I think we can just get started. Um, welcome to the weekly sync everyone. Yeah, let's get started with announcements. Um, I hope I didn't miss anyone, but so many new faces. It's so exciting. Um, welcome to the team. If you guys wanna like drop a fun fact in the chat, favorite restaurant in Chinatown, any Chinatown in New York City, you can drop that in the chat section. Uh, cool, let's move on to strategy uh, with MX. Next is the weekly retro where everyone in the org joins and we give high level updates on progress and also do some demos. There were a bunch of new volunteers on the call which made me really happy. Alrighty, it's time to do some dishes. As you can tell, I like to take lots of little breaks throughout the day because it just keeps me sane. I love cleaning, but I hate doing dishes. It's like my least favorite chore. But on days like these where I'm just at my computer all day, it's actually a nice break to get up and do something else. My grandma is a little hard of hearing, so I have to scream really loud into the phone. And today she's convinced that I'm not at home and that I'm traveling. After my shower, I spent the rest of my night editing this video, the one that you're watching right now. It actually takes me a really long time to edit, so the earlier I start, the better.
so that is it for my day i hope y'all enjoyed this little productive vlog and if you did please make sure to leave me a comment down below like and subscribe thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye